after I posted my last uh, sketchbook uh, video, uh, I got several uh, requests for me to uh, post uh, some of my other uh, sketchbooks. And uh, like I stated in the last video, I don't have that many complete. I mean, I jump from sketchbooks to sketchbooks. I have 13 right now sitting in my studio and they're all partial. But they said that a uh, partial would be good, so uh, I don't have a problem with that. So I figured I would do one of my uh, videos of uh, one of my spark, uh, one of my sketchbooks that's not complete, but it's got about thirteen uh, pages uh, done. And this one is one that I use for uh, plain air for watercolor. It's a mixed media. This was given to me by one of the uh, followers that I had when I was posting in DeviantArt, which is a long time ago. That is years ago. I mean, basically, I've been posted in Deviant Art for about five, five years at least. But uh, I've, I've used it for one or two illustrations, and then basically uh, I put it away and I moved on to others. Not because it's bad. I'm that's just who I am. And uh, the paper is not as good as you know your high expensive watercolor paper. It's from Master. Uh, touch and i believe that's uh hobby lobby brand if i'm not mistaken and uh we can tell by the price that basically uh it's an old sketchbook because now nowadays they're probably more expensive all right so uh let's start this would be my first page here and uh this was done at uh white tank mountain and that was a beautiful day i mean the colors were just gorgeous it was a beautiful morning it was cool, it wasn't hot at all, and basically uh, I just had to capture it, uh, in the colors in watercolor, because I'm going to definitely paint this, but man, it had some nice uh, purples, you know, basically brownish purples, and I mean, the, the greens were just beautiful. I mean, basically it's, I was so pleased with the way I came out. I captured the colors as close as I could, and. I'm gonna use this for the um, for the one that I'm gonna do for oil. I'm gonna paint it in oil. I did this in pen and ink also that same day, and I think if I'm not mistaken, this it was in the sketch pad that I did the video on the last time. This here is uh, from uh, the pond. Basically, I did this at the pond. Uh, it's a place that I love to paint at. It's in Tempe, Arizona. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one, uh, I wasn't that pleased when I did the plain air. So I, I figured maybe if I brought a fountain pen and did a little bit of underline with it and punched it up a little bit, it would work. I love uh, using watercolor with fountain pen or my ballpoint zebra pens. This this was uh, with a ballpoint pen and man, it just punched it up. It, it really looked good afterwards. This was done in, um, what was this one? This was Willow Lake, and man, the, the that day was such a beautiful day. The colors were so nice. The problem is it was hot. I mean, it was at the end of summer, and triple digits immediately. I mean, I arrived there early in the morning without the sun coming out yet, and I'm telling you, when that sun came out, it just immediately got in the triple digits, but I'm I had to capture it. Basically, I endure uh, a little bit of uh, heat and sweat just to get this done. And uh, man, I, I really love the colors in this one. Uh, this is going to be a painting definitely also. And I, I mean, basically I'm gonna go by the colors that I captured that day here. This was uh, done at White Tank Mountain. And basically it was, uh, I finished the sketch and I mean, it didn't look bad, but it needed a little bit of a punch. So I did the same thing as I did with the previous one. I took out my fountain pen and I kind of added a little bit of a, a, a detail to it. I just went in with on top of the watercolor and it turned out to be really nice. I mean, it, like I said, it wasn't bad, but sometimes you just, feel that something is missing and you have to uh, do a little bit more and basically using the fountain pen was my idea of bringing it a little bit sharper. This was done at uh, Watson Lake 
And basically this one, uh, you know, when I finished it, the oranges that I was seeing that day, the watercolors uh, were not capturing them as strong. So I figured uh, I had a set of watercolors that I had just bought and they're from Amazon. So it's, it's amazing. Amazon is selling art supplies. They're called uh, Amazon Art Basics. And I bought a set of uh, color pencils because they were recommended to me by one of my followers. And I, I got to say, she was right. This colors are amazing i mean basically uh they blend so well and the colors are really intense and almost like like if you're using the prisma colors i mean basically and not as 100 percent but man it, it is so close it's for the money it's amazing so i was really pleased with this one after i added the the color pencil like i said it's experimentation everything is experimenting and working on on experimenting it I told one of my uh, deviants in the conversation we were having, I said, uh, a sketchbook is not for masterpieces unless you're Cesar Santos, LOL. But no, uh, it's for experimenting, basically. It's for you to uh, try different things. And if you fail, you fail, you know, you cover it up with gesso and go ahead and do something else on it. So this, this one here, I, I did a, uh, a nice painting of and it sold some time back and I did a, I, I wanted to test the, the, the pencils so I went ahead and did this one this was done in the studio as a color study and basically man the colors are amazing as you can see look at that nice blending and if I would have used uh, one of the blender uh, pencils it would have been even nicer but I wanted to do the blending with just putting one color on top of another and without any uh, of the blending uh, uh, tools available. And man, this came out amazing. As you can see, I was so pleased. I tried to buy another set and unfortunately, I guess people are finding out about those colors because they're all out. They, um, they're, they don't have any right now. They have to restock. So I'm, I'm like, damn, I should have bought two. But of course I wasn't sure if they're gonna be good at that point. So I had to, uh, to wait but as you can see man it is beautiful look at those beautiful purples i created this purples just by mixing uh the a blue and a red and it came out just fantastic this here was done at the pond also i've done i did a series at the pond that i called uh, i called the uh, the pond series and i did so many plain airs there and unfortunately i don't have any of them left except for this one this this particular set setting, I've also painted in oil and plain air that day. And uh, that one I still have, it's in my gallery, it's still available if any of you guys are looking for artwork. But uh, yeah, I was so pleased with this one. The colors came out so nice. I think I like this one just as much as the oil painting. I mean, look at those, how beautiful the colors came out. And then I went ahead and got my uh, fountain pen out and I figured that the fountain pen would would help it and I wasn't wrong I mean the fountain pen just brought everything out I mean it made it so nice and I mean it is it is just one of the ones that I really like this one is one I was really pleased with this I posted some of you guys that follow me probably saw it uh, I post I posted this one with the uh, ink sketch and no the pencil sketch and also the uh, the painting. So if you look at my post, you, you'll get to see the process of the pencil sketch, the this sketch right here, which is watercolor with a uh, with the uh, color pencils that I just mentioned to you guys. Then I went ahead and and did the oil painting, uh, which was also a, a, that was a plain air. I went back actually for the plain air. So there's a little bit of differences, but the light almost looked the same. I went at the same time and I got almost the same beautiful setting that I got when I did this other two uh, with a little bit of differences, but I had the uh, thumbnail for this to be able to uh, get the colors from this one for the ones that changed a little bit. Now, this is one that I posted in ink. It was a ballpoint ink sketch and uh, I had put gesso on this pad. I, 
I might have been covering something I didn't like. I can't really remember. But the thing about it is that I had a gesso uh, page. So when I went out, I said, well, might as well do a, a plain air oil uh, study. And that's what I did here. Basically, big mistake though. I forgot my liquid that day and I used straight paints. Uh, and oh boy, I mean, it took forever to dry and I, could, I was not able to use this pad for a while. And uh, that was a mistake. I'm never going to do uh, any uh, anything on a pad that is oil without using liquid. De definitely, you it it's just frustrating. Even though I have so many other pads, I took when I went out uh, plain air again. I basically took some of the other pads and I used those. But man, it's I wanted to continue doing some of the some of the uh, illustrations or the planer. Uh, studies on this one but I wasn't able to I had to wait it took almost two weeks for this darn thing to dry especially the yellows here this right here oh man it's it, it was and then the white right here it took forever I mean if I would have used the liquid one it would have been dried in two days or maybe a day all right so let's let's continue this one was done at Red Rock State Park in Arizona it's uh it's close to uh, Slide Rock, uh, the other park there in Sedona. It's part of Sedona, and man, this tree, uh, I've done two sketches of, four sketches of this tree in plain air. Uh, one, and, and they're all in separate pads, which is the funny part. And this one, I almost gave up on. I could not capture some of the slides. I figured, well, maybe I'll use white, and I said, but the whole purpose of of me going, uh, starting to do this one is that I didn't want to use white. I wanted to use the paper, but I didn't want the paper to be that intense either. So I kind of muted uh, the lights the way they were, the way I, my eyes saw them. I was really pleased. I'm glad I didn't, I didn't uh, rip the page out or cover it. It came out really nice. I was really pleased with it. At least uh, in my opinion, it it is a beautiful uh, plain air watercolor sketch. This must have been one of the first ones that I did in this pad because this is in, uh, in New Orleans. I did this in New Orleans and basically, uh, I think it was either City Park or Audubon Park. I would say Audubon Park because this area here uh, would have been the water and this trees here usually get covered with birds, but I, I, that was too much clutter and I kind of took everything out. And it was the day after the rain and I punched up all the colors. I had just seen the documentary on uh, on Monet and how he uh, he said, if you see a color, punch it up. So I did that with two other paintings too. I saw a color and I punched it up. So, but it came out nice. I was really pleased with this one. And I did two paintings of this with uh, plainer paintings with uh, pastel of all things. And they're both uh, also sold. This is the last one for this pad and my favorite of the pad in my opinion, uh, almost my favorite. This one, man, I saw the sunset and I pulled out, pulled in and, uh, on one of the openings that I found and got all my stuff out from my, uh, from my uh, trunk and started moving fast on it. And I was able to ca capture the large shapes. And then I, with a photo that I took when I came home, I added a little bit more of the details. And I debated whether to bring color pencil on this one, but man, it just came out so perfect as it is in my, and well, that's my opinion, of course. You guys might think different, but man, this is gonna make a beautiful painting. And definitely this is going to be an oil painting. So, but so far, I mean, I was really pleased with it. I thought it was fantastic. So, uh, like I said, this, the, yeah, this is the last one in this pad. I'm gonna continue uh, with it. Uh, bad thing about it, man, it's, with, with work, it makes it hard. And then I do graphics on the side too. So when I'm home, uh, I'm trying to do less and less of it. I want to do more of this. And good thing about it, my job pays for everything. I don't have, I mean, it's, I have a good job and, they, and I, I do what I love also. So I don't have to worry about, about money. I mean, basically uh, when painting sell, I use the money to buy paints. And I've been buying, uh, professional grade. So anything you guys, you know, when you guys buy my paintings, basically that's what it goes to, into uh, buying paints and, and good brushes and stuff. So, and, uh, but this is going to be uh, a, a, an oil painting soon. That, that is a guarantee. 
And man, I'm telling you, this could be the best so far in this pad for me. And I never expected it to look this way because man, when I was trying to capture those colors, you know, they, I just went for large shapes and it was all just color, you know, large shapes of color. But then I uh, brought it home and like I said, I added a little bit of details to it and got this a little bit more intense in the bottom. It was a little bit washed out when I did the actual plain air. I brought a little bit of intensity here and those Turner colors, I think I used Turner for this one because I, the my Daniel Smiths, I haven't traveled with him for a while. I have him in the studio. So this had to have been Turner watercolors. And you guys, Turner uh, professional grade are awesome. They're awesome watercolors. They're almost just as good as Daniel Smith. So, but that's it guys. So basically, uh, as soon as I put another 13 or 14, I'll go ahead and uh, do another one. And if you guys wanna continue seeing some of the sketch bats, let me know. I, when I was working graves, when I first moved to Arizona, uh, I had a, every time I went to lunch, I was sketching and just to, you know, kill time. That was not a job I liked, the one I got when I got here. And I didn't want to use all my savings that I brought with me. So basically, I did a lot of drawings while I was at that job uh, for the large paintings that I have. And uh, I'll probably do a video on that. I mean, it's, they were done in a, uh, the company used some good uh, printing paper. They didn't use the cheap one, the uh, Hammerhead, I think, they were using. So I figured, I mean, hell, I, it's acid free and everything. So I, I did a lot of sketches on that paper. I would take paper out of the printer, go to lunch and just sketch away for a whole hour. I'll probably uh, post that so you guys can see and I'll let you know which, uh, I'll probably post that and add the, uh, a pick of the paintings that those sketches were for. So uh, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.